Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is a 61-year-old female with pain in the ankle. They thought she had a posterior tibial tendon tear, but that checked out okay. She had a couple of little findings, but the main one is in the Taylor Dome. So this is the Taylor Dome here, the top of the talus, and along the medial margin over here, we start to see a little subtle deformity. One more image here. We can see this little scalloped area of the medial Taylor Dome. So this is a small osteochondral defect. So we're going to look at this on the coronal images. And on this coronal fat set PD sequence, we can see a couple things. Number one, we can see that there is marrow edema underneath it, which is abnormal. The marrow edema goes down pretty deep in the talus. Also, we see this darkness within the osteochondral defect, which means there's abnormal marrow. It may have lost its vascularity. And also, the most important thing here is that band of brightness. There's a little band of brightness undermining the osteochondral defect. And this is a finding that may be associated with loosening or instability. Once it gets that little band undermining it, it may be unstable, and it can flick out or, or uh, migrate out of there. But right now, it's nice, normal in position. So I'd say this is a, um, a possibly unstable or loose fragment with evidence of loosening, but there's no evidence of displacement. Now, often they do not have this. This is fairly rare to see this loosening. Uh, when they don't have loosening, you can follow these things, and they usually um, stay the same or slowly get better over time. They may heal spontaneously, but when they are loose um, or unstable like this, then it's more worrisome, and you may want to be more aggressive as a surgeon to drill them and let them heal. And, of course, when they're, un when they're unstable and they've actually uh, been displaced, they're displaced out of the position, then, of course, they had to go in there and fix them. So this is an osteochondral defect of the medial Taylor dome with evidence of uh, loosening or instability and some reactive marrow signal changes beneath it. But again, there's no evidence of OCD displacement. And thank you very much.